So if you are thinking about adding a tip jar to your emails or your website, I wanted to show you a couple of options. So buy me a coffee is super easy to set up. It's what I've used for the past several years, but it's a little confusing. So here you see when somebody comes to buy you a coffee, they can buy you one coffee, which is $5, three coffees, which is 15, five coffees, which is 25, or they can put a number here, but there's a lot of math, right? And it's just a little confusing. So when they go here, you can pay with Google Pay or with your card, but the math, it's a drawback, right? So I wanted to set up something that was even easier for people to use. So if you have a Stripe business account, what you can do is log in there and create a simple Stripe button, a link to add to your website or your emails. And we're gonna walk through how to do that today. So log into your Stripe dashboard. You can see a big payout to your four cents. Uh, we're gonna go to create, and we're going to create a payment link. And from here, you can choose customers, choose what to pay. So this is gonna be a donation, and we're just gonna call this tip jar for Christy Price. You can also add an image here if you would like, and you can also add a description here. So, um, thanks for your support. You can suggest a preset limit amount. So if you wanted to give people the option, you know, of like, when you come give me $20, you could definitely do that here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let people Add whatever they would like. You can also set limits, a lower bound and an upper bound, and there are some advanced options here. Uh, you can change this to donate if you want, but I kind of like pay. I'm not going to collect any customer information here. So once we have done this, we can go to the confirmation page and it says thanks for your payment. We can replace that with a default custom message if you want. So thanks for your support. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is with this information. And once you've done that, you just click create link. Super easy. I'm gonna copy this. And you can see I've got payment methods set here. Apple Pay, Google Pay, card. I want to make it really easy for people to give money through this tip jar link. So let's go ahead and hop over to Squarespace. And we'll just hop into my website here. And in my footer, we will end here. Edit footer, and I can just add tip jar, and I'm going to add a link, open it in a new window, save and apply. Let's go to save. So now when you go to christyprice.com, you can scroll down, click on tip jar, and they're immediately brought to the Stripe checkout. So makes their life super easy. They can pay as much or as little as they want. There's no math involved and it makes everyone's life a little easier. It makes it easier for you to get support. I hope you found this helpful and I would love to know if you implement this on your website. Please drop a link below if you're watching this on YouTube or shoot me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Now, one other thing that you can do if you don't want to have to remember that Stripe link and you want to be able to just let people tip you is you can hop back into your website. Let's go back in and log into my website here. And we're going to set up a URL redirect. So let's go into settings, advanced, URL mappings. And what we'll do here is we're going to put in slash tip dash greater than paste in our stripe link, which I will grab again from here. And then do a 302 redirect. So let's go ahead and save this. 
And now when someone goes to christyprice.com slash tip, it'll go directly to the Stripe checkout. So really easy to add that link or hand it out so you don't have to remember the crazy long Stripe link.